Humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you are lucky enough to be doing it too. I'm Bushcron Blitz, and I am back with a dose of love, affection, and generic tanking goodness. Well, at least I hope it's goodness. Today, we're going to be looking at the oft overlooked and much maligned <laughs> Churchill gun carrier. It's ugly as sin. <laughs> it's not fun to look at. It is really ugly. Uh, and its armor is precociously bad. Uh, almost to the point where it is troll and they're just trying to make fun of you. Um, it has horrific mobility and its gun traverse arc, which is an oft underlooked factor in terms of tanking uh, with a TD, is crap as well. In fact, all in all, there would appear on the surface to not be much to recommend this tank. And Snake always gives me trouble too. He says, if Bushka says it's a solid tank or something, if you play it right, that's a, that's a clue to stay away. <laughs> Snake's wrong, but I'm not going to tell you this is a solid tank. I'm going to come clean with the goods real early on in the piece. Your Churchill gun carrier sucks. Um, <laughs> it does so for a couple of big reasons. And it's surprising when I put all the numbers down on paper because it's actually got a lot of positives for it that you wouldn't realize when you kick off the Churchill gun carrier chase. Namely, it can dish out damage better than any other tank at tier six. Its DPM is through the roof. It's got nearly 2200 raw DPM before you shove rations on it, before you shove a gun rammer on it, before you use adrenaline, before you put vents on it. Uh, it's got nearly 2200 DPM. And it's got a gun that on the face of it, you should be proud to mount on any vehicle. 0.34 dispersion and 1.9 seconds of aim time certainly would lead you to believe that this is a tank well worth a look in. 8.7 rounds a minute, 214 millimeters of pen on your AP rounds at tier six. That's massive. 246 millimeters of pen on your APCR rounds. And you, you never really re need to touch the APCR. And then we talk about the credit coefficients. The credit coefficients on it are the highest in the game outside of premium tanks, 149%. So why do I think this tank sucks if it's got so much going for, oh, and I forgot the gun depression. 10 degrees of gun depression. What about them apples? Well, let me tell you why it's got the highest credit coefficient in the game. Because they're trying to make it decent. The tank's got some massive flaws. Flaws so big that it's very, very hard to hide them at all. Despite the fact that it has all these positives. There's a couple of little ones that you don't realize until you're driving the thing. Um, and they really suck. Uh... And then there's some big ones. The armor. The armor is horrific. The armor is just so bad. There's nothing good about the armor profile. It's flat surfaces. It's big flat surfaces. Um, and what's more, you can't angle it. Like angling does nothing. The armor is so poor, it just gets smashed. What it does well is just fire fast, accurate rounds of 250 hit point love into everything and penetrates everything. And it's good that it penetrates everything because everything penetrates it. The big issue with the Churchill gun carrier, quite aside from the fact that the armor is ridiculously bad, is your mobility. 26 kilometers an hour is your top speed. And that means getting from A to B is a slow and torturous process. Look at the gun though. The gun's amazing. It's hit. It hits the top corner. You have gotta love the gun. The, the oft undersold thing about the Churchill gun carrier that is really, really bad is the gun traverse arc. Now, if you've ever driven the top gun on the toaster, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. I run the gun carrier with binoculars and that's all well and good, but you're gonna see when you're zoomed in, see that, that line on the screen and on either end of the line, there is a bar. That is how far you can traverse the gun before the tank will move when you're traversing. And what that means is if you're running binoculars and you move to the left or the right, 
the whole tank will move and you're going to traverse your tracks which will break your binoculars and it will also break your camouflage so if you're sniping at 200 meters from someone you've got binoculars on and camo set and you're not going to move if you move along that traverse arc by accident it will break your camouflage it'll break your binoculars it'll probably get you spotted and it'll get you killed but the gun and this is where snake would yell at me <laughs> if you play this tank and you can play it as a sniper and that is all you can play it as then there is nothing better at its tier its gun is quite simply amazing nearly 2200 dpm uh, i mean that's huge at a tier where most of the tanks that you're facing as you can see have under a thousand hit points um, and you've got 2200 dpm you can take apart most of the tanks at your tier in 15 or 20 seconds um, and that's phenomenally powerful in the right hands you cannot for one second be aggressive in this tank unless you have a hit point advantage because if you do that you are going to take damage there's just no way of blocking incoming damage um, and the gun traverse arc is, is brutal you've got 29 degrees of traverse which on paper sounds good but your tank is so long your tracks are so easily hit and and your your gun is and i mean your gun is so poor in traverse terms that everyone will go around you in a light or a medium and you will get destroyed what you can do is conserve hit points like i'm doing here till the end of the game if you have to drive this thing this is how you drive it you conserve hit points till the end of the game and then you do what you do in a yag tiger which is you just try and burn them down and you're going to see here i'm going to drop adrenaline on this su 100 y he is going to panic and try and snapshot and miss and he's just going to get chewed to pieces and that's what the churchill gun carrier can do that's its real claim to fame that and the fact that you'll probably make credits when you're driving um it it's got a great credit coefficient and although you'll struggle at times to do the damage if they're silly enough to stand in front of you you are going to tear them the hell apart as you can see right here right now this poor old bugger in the uh jumbo is just getting wrecked up and i never get to see the toaster which is unfortunate because on a four kill i would have got him as well and uh we had plenty of hit points left in the bag could have fired he into him all well and good great pen great gun great accuracy 1.9 second aim time um still a crap tank <laughs> but you know and there you go the vk calls me a noob <laughs> after i've torn him the hell up 2500 damage four kills uh got my, my top gun what do you want from me i drove the thing i love you humans i'm driving all these tanks people have had a go at me that i'm not putting enough lower tier tanks in there well the last two days you've seen are how to earn credits where i've driven without provisions adrenaline promo driven he only tanks all this kind of stuff and today i reviewed the churchill gun carrier um this probably won't pop on channel though for a few days but that's how much i love you humans i'm off to new york if you haven't listened to the podcast i should uh, let you know i just did a podcast with alexander de giorgio the producer for wargaming asia that went off like a frog in a sock he's a great bloke and it's really really interesting to listen to get a hold of that you should be listening to them all the time anyway because what i say is interesting <laughs> at least i hope it is otherwise we're going to get a lot fewer subs on this channel um and as always if you consider sponsoring the channel that would be lovely because that's how i basically make a living now is uh sponsorship through the youtube channel and i hope you guys like the content the podcasts the constant updates and uh, and all the good gear because i enjoy giving it to you and i'd like to keep giving it to you for quite some time said the actress to the bishop boom boom uh try the veal i'll be here all week Thanks very much. Look after your families and stay safe on the battlefield.